Good afternoon. I'm William Campillay Llanos. I study in Applied Mathematical Modeling Institute program at the Catholic University of Maule, located in the city of Talca in Chile. I work in the ecology and environment group, collaborating with Fernando Cordova Lepe and Felipe Moreno Gomez from the same university. This year, I began to collaborate with wildlife biologist Christian Osorio, who worked at the University of Virginia Tech and lead Proyecto Carnivoros Australis, a not-profit dedicated to carnivore research and conservation. This presentation has three parts. First, I will describe an image to present the ecological context of this talk. Then, I will provide background information to build a mathematical model and show results to energy requirement and trophic cascade intensity. Finally, we discuss the case on some particular relation in the Andes of the Central Chile and the future the research kit line. Predation is an ecological interaction in which one an animal kills and eats another animal for survival. The predator interaction has an important effect on the structure of the community acting as the agent of natural selection influencing the evolution of both predator and their prey. These predators have different body mass and in contrary to this way, they shape nature with a magnitude of effect that is not explained by its density of lethal effects. Even in classical cultures such as Romans, they consider this species a beast, carnivore and globally trained. The theory predicts that predators disappear, larger beaver should feel less fear, move to new place, occupy various space, eat new plants, and significantly modify the landscape. One phenomenon that we can study is energy requirement. Through a simple calculation, we can estimate of the energy and nutrient just rate per area for each species with a local community. We will deny this quantity by ED. Therefore, ED is the product of the population density T and the average individual metabolic rate. The notion appeared in the chapter 5 of James Brown's book Macroecology, which partially inspired this work. Another phenomenon that can be observed with a trophic web is the trophic cascade. This refer in the direct effect of apex predator on the basal reservoir to the interaction with the intermediate species. The right side of the figure to the effect of the wall on the vegetation when preying on the elk. This notion can be described to a caution in which the numerator is the equilibrium abundance of the basal reservoirs with the presence of the wall and elk and the denominator is the equilibrium abundance of the vessel ratio calculated in ounces of the world. Can be caused by different characteristics of predator and prey, like body size, can cause variation on the strength of the trophic cascade. Body size is a feature of organisms which are simple to observe. It is considered as component of phenotype that ranks significance for significance for the fitness modification. In the image, each point represents other species. Some mammals are red, the protists are yellow, the plants are green, and the ectoderm are blue. A positive relationship is observed between the basal metabolism and maximum growth and body size. Meanwhile, the relation is negative between mortality rate and abundance with respect to body size. These functional relationships will be useful to parameterize our mathematical model. We highlight the value of the alleged exponent of three quarters in the basal metabolism and minus three quarters in the abundance. We will then denote by P, C, and R the abundance of top predator, consumer, and investor reserve, respectively. Furthermore, one characteristic of the model we will present is that all the parameters depend on body size in a geometric way. Thus, the model aims to capture on the following research hypothesis. The body mass of the species 
by influencing the strength, distribution, and characteristic of the interaction, that limit the mass range on the species that determine the coexistence, energy requirements, and intensity of cascade and adherent in a three level food chain. Probably the most common model to describe tree trophic system is the Oxanen model, which was sold for the staking two Rosenberg MacArthur model, one for herbivore and one for predator. In this case, we present a model with a semi structure but highlight the TP parameters with indicate and threshold for the trophic escape effects and the reproductive number RC and RP. Additionally, we highlight the parameter of capture efficiency, proposed but weights and level. This is a product between probability of the predator of mass MB effectively, effectively capture or prey of mass MC and intensity of the interaction depending on the body mass. Finally, the intensity of the interaction is represent of the body mass of the predator right to beta indicate the intensity of the predator by an arithmetic factor indicate the difference that exists when the predator is much larger or much smaller. By replacing the rate of change of the predator population to zero, the equilibrium abundance of intermediate consumer as is obtained. This is pressed to the reproductive number and in turn on the body mass. In addition, we explore that an exotic species with abundance L of mass ML that consumes the same restaurant invades the chain. In this case, the rate of change in the abundance of the species is shown in this, in this equation. The condition for in a successive invasion is equivalent to negative derivative of L with respect to time and therefore RP should be maximum. According to this and making a direct arrangement, the above is equivalent to the expression being maximum. The graph of the expression is a unimodal feature. As indicated by weights, the maximum corresponds to the evolutionary stable strategy in which no species with the same characteristic and the predator can invade. In the resource consuming predator system, by equalizing the derivative to zero, we obtain the abundance in equilibrium from the three species. According to this representation, we express the abundance on the intermediate consumer in terms of body mass and consider condition for the abundance of the basic resource, which guarantee that these abundance are positive. Considering this expression, we calculate EP and EC energy requirements. We highlight the particular case when alpha R, alpha D equal gamma equal to quarter and beta equal a half, we observe that EP is independent of body size, while EC is bonded on the bottom and the top. This result is possible related to energy equivalence rule. The model that represents the intensity of Trophic cascade is expressed in terms of current capacity of the, of the basis pressure, the reproductive number and consumer and predator and threshold number of trophic cascade, TP. Note, for this term be positive, it is required that the number of offspring left by predator RP must be greater than threshold TP. In terms of body mass, the following inequality is obtained. Considering the particular case when the alpha equal alpha D equal gamma to quarter and beta and half and some algebraic operation, we obtain that the metabolic rate of the consumer is limited superiorly. And therefore, the EP energy requirement of the apex predator is limited superiorly. Therefore, for the model of trophic cascade intensity to make ecological sense, 
if e is required to limit. Body mass is hard to measure in the wild. Free ranging animal to an ethical and practical issues involved. Other ecological relevant variables can be obtained to no invasive sample. For example, camera clamps, diet analysis from the scab, but they are often analysis from a statistical modeling framework only. Modeling predator coexistence from the critical data. In the system, there are two, the puma, which are the apex predator, and the under fox, the meso predator. Ecological theory predicts that supertinate predator, the meso carnivore, will go extinct unless predator partition their ecological niche along one of the most axis of ecological niche. Through no invasive sampling, camera trump survive and scat diet analysis, we collect data that we use to evaluate niche overlap between puma and fox on three principal axes of ecological niche, space, time, and trophic resource. We observe that the puma and foxes split their ecological niche just along the trophic axis, promoting the coexistence both predator. In the context of global biodiversity crisis, it's key that the mathematician and ecologists, worldwide biologists, worldwide manager and conservationists unify the sport and work together in order to successfully protect wildlife. Ecological modeling offered variables which are easily obtained to no invasive sample and they be incorporated into mathematical theory, theoretical modeling to further understand the ecology and endangered carnivores. Such an integrative modeling framework could provide valuable insight to the management and conservation of these essential animals. Our future efforts are focused on the following. Develop and propose the mathematical model that consider the coexistence between the top predator, predator and mesocarnivore at the recently exposed case, Puma Fox, in order to able to generalize this observation and get future study. To incorporate other variables of community ecology which can be measured in no invasive way into the model. Integrate mathematical and statistical model into integrative modeling framework. The main reference are, thank you for your attention.